Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use the weekday function to do something as trivial or as important as tracking calories. So the weekday function, what it does is it returns the day of the week uh, corresponding to a date. So uh, by default it's going to start off uh, the week on a Sunday and end it on a Saturday. So Sunday is going to start with a 1 and then Monday is going to be a 2 and so on until it gets to Saturday which ends in the number 7. So let's say for example I put a date in here and let's say that someone was born on the 31st of October and if they're born on the 31st and you want to figure out what day of the week it is you can actually just use the weekday command let me go ahead and type it in here and select it let me double click to select it the serial number is basically the serial number format of the date I'm just going to go ahead and select the cell and go ahead and press enter and it's going to accept the, re the default return type which is the number one here so basically Sunday starts at a one two, to Monday at a 2, etc. So when I press enter, it's going to tell me that the day of the week is going to be the 6th sixth, the sixth day of the week, which is a Friday. The 7th day of the week is going to be a Saturday, so the 6th day is going to be a Friday. So October 31st on 2014 is going to be a Friday. Now if we wanted to find out for next year, let's make this 2015, it's going to tell us it's going to be on the seventh day of the week, which is a Saturday. So that's going to be an easy way to kind of figure out for you. Well, what is another way that we can use the weekday function? We can actually use it to track calories. And let me go ahead and go into this example here. Let's say, for example, I have a range of dates here, and I have my weekday functions figuring out which day of the week it is. Uh, right now it says Monday, but it really the weekday command brings back a number. So Monday would be the number two. What I've done here is put it into a command here with the choose command. Let me go ahead and just briefly go through how this function works. What the choose command does, let me go ahead and just cl click on the insert function and you'll see the choose command here. What the choose command does is it takes a number and based on that number, uh, ba based on the number, it will select the values that are coming after it. So if there were five values, or let's make it this a little easy, if there are three values, and the number here was a number one, it'll pick this first value. If the number here was number two, it'll pick the second value. And the sec these values can be text. And if it's text, it has to be put into quotes. You'll notice that the word Sunday is put into quotes. So when the weekday function looks at this particular date, 9-1-2014, it's going to bring back a number. So the number is going to be from 1 to 7. Depending on 1 to 7, it's going to pick out 1, and it's going to go to the first uh, value in that list, which is Sunday. If it says 2, it's going to pick out the second value, which shows up in this list, which is Monday, and etc. So it goes down the line here. And that's what it's doing to bring back this text, using that number to bring that back that text. Let me go ahead and cancel out of that. And to see this really in action, let me go ahead and bring up the formula evaluator. So if I go under formulas, and I go into the evaluate formula here under the formula auditing, it brings up the evaluator window. And this is how it works. It, when I click evaluate, it's going to figure out what weekday A2 is, which that 9-1-2014 is. It's going to see that it's this number. So this 41883 is the number that Excel sees dates in. It's a serial number. Uh, it's just formatted this way for us to easily recognize it. Now, it's going to calculate this number and put it into the weekday function, and it's going to give us the number 2. So that number 2 is going to be Monday, and that's why we have Monday here. And if I click evaluate again, it will pick up Monday, and that's where it shows up. Let me go ahead and close that. So that is the explanation of how we get this text out of the weekday, this weekday function. And when I put this into a table here where I have the date, I have the weekday, I have the calories, I can track this a little bit easier on term, in terms of a week. The question that I want, may want to answer is, which day of the week am I eating the most calories or eating the, le the least amount of calories? What I can do is I can take this table and in turn it into a pivot table. So if I go into insert pivot table, it's going to give me this create pivot table window. I'm going to go ahead and my select table range is the one that I am selected in. You can see the marquee going around here. It selected this whole table. If I go down, you can see that it's selected all the way to the end of this table in row 31. 
And where do I want to put the table? I'm going to put the table in the existing worksheet. It can create a new worksheet here, but I'm just going to put it here. It's going to be a small table. So the location, I'm just going to put it right over here in cell E5. Click OK. It's going to give me a kind of a blank template and where I can just kind of fill it in now. So I'm just going to move the weekday into the row labels. And let me, when I move it down here, you'll see what it looks like. So it puts it into these rows. And I want to have the count of the calories, the total count. This is for the whole of September. I want to have the total count of calories uh, for each day of the week. So I'm going to go ahead and put the calorie in here, the values. So by default, when you put uh, values, the numerical values into this uh, sum of values box, it's going to sum things. And that's the default of, of how it adds. It's going to sum up these calories. So anything that is on the Sunday, if it finds a Sunday here, it finds a Sunday here, it's going to add it up to get that total. So once I have this table set up, what I can do is to make it a little bit more easier to see is turn this into a chart. Let me go ahead and go under Options and click on Pivot Chart. And once I click on that, you have this Insert Chart option. I'm just going to go ahead and select Column and click OK. And now I have a column chart. Let me go ahead and click close this Pivot Table Field list here to give myself some more room. And I'll go ahead and move this over here. And what we have now is we have kind of a visual cue of the calories that we that we uh, expend for the whole month of September based on the days of the week. So we notice that on Wednesdays and Fridays we don't ex we don't take in as much calories. So maybe we have to look at these days and say what are we doing on these days that make us take in less calories? Maybe we're trying to we're trying to lose weight. And then we can look at uh, Monday and Tuesday and kind of figure out well, what on Monday and Tuesday are we doing that makes us eat so many calories. Uh, for the month. So for most people, uh, their, their eating habits are, are typical behaviors of something. So if we have something where we can chart it out on a weekly basis based on some data, so we can figure out which days are we taking more calories in than others, and we can look deeper and see what are we doing on those days that affect that particular data. So this is one way that we can use the weekday function to help us uh, maybe count calories. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.